Well, hi and welcome to this week's project. Um, this week's project will be two parts. Um, I'm going to be casting some... This came off my Christmas tree and I've been keeping them. Um, and these are all dried out ready. And I'm going to cast them in some resin and make some pen blanks. And in part two, I'm going to turn them and see how they come out. Now, I'm trying these unstabilised first. Um, and we'll see how successful they are. If they're not very successful, we'll do another one where we stabilise them. So, what I'm going to do is get these. I'm just throwing them in any old towel because they're just small ones. Just to try and fit them in as best as possible. Just lie them down. I'll keep that one stuck up. Right, that'll probably do it. I'll probably need a little bit of tape um, just to hold them down with the resin. I'm going to put that on first before we start. I can get the piece of tape off. Oh, it's all breaking away. I've obviously got a, a four blank pen mould here and I've put um, a bit of hot glue around it just to try and stop any leak out. Right. I'll leave that just now and I could put another one across there if need be. Right, so I'm going to be, the colours I'm going to be using today is the Illuminite Red Dye. And let me move that camera back a bit. Yeah, the Illuminite Red Dye. And I've got some, it's not Perlex, but it's um, a similar stuff I bought, which actually works out probably a little bit cheaper. I can manage to buy it in, in um, 25 grams. So um, I'm going to add these in to the resin. I'm using the uh, clear cast resin. And just blow the inside of this out. I've got my plastic container. Now this is two to one by weight. Um, so I've got my little scales here. Get some gloves on. Most important, you wear gloves with this stuff because you can get allergies. I've also prepared another mould blank here, just thrown a few bits of wood in it, just in case I end up with too much resin, so uh, so that I don't waste any of the resin. Right. Well, first off, we'll get these two over here. We're back to zero and. I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to go for. I can't remember what it was the last time. I think it was about 100, 150, wasn't it? Right. I'm starting off with just the resin here. I'll actually empty all of this out. I don't think there's much in here anyway. grams there. Round it off nicely. Even number would be better. Right, 
Okay, 130 grams there. And we're definitely going to be needing more, I think. And it's, so it's two to one. So one's the hardener. So I need uh, 50. So 60 is half. So 65 I need on top, which is going to make 195. left in here. Nothing left, I'll do. Right, let's get some red colour in here now. Good squirt. Get some pigment in. Get stirring. I quite like the um, red one that I did for the in the Banksy pods. That's why I've gone for the red again. It's almost like a little bit pinky that um, the Perlex, the pigment. this a really good stir I've got a funny feeling I might need to actually stir another one make up another one but we'll see how far this fills up it's a lovely colour This clear cast, they say, doesn't actually need vacuum or pressure. And in all honesty, it doesn't give me as much bubbles, considering how vigorous I'm stirring, as normal. Um, but I would say for a blank like this, you were going to need pressure anyway to get it um, pushed into the voids in the um, cones. Definitely going to need more resin, that's for sure. You've got about a 40 minute um, working time on this, so there's plenty of time, there's no immediate rush with anything. I must say, I do prefer the ones with a longer um, pot life on them. Right, let me just get another pot I've got going here. Right, we'll get the next one mixed up now. We're going to go for a bit more this time.
I'm miss making a mess up. Right, so this is the part A this time, the resin. That's 170, 172 I've put in there, so um, 85, 86 of hardware, so that'll take us up to, Christ, do the pen, 86, 86, Right, back to colour. I've got a larger spoon this time. be enough this time. Making sure you give a really good stir. The last thing you want is uh, to be pouring so much resin out and then it uh, not to harden because you've not mixed it correctly. Get the final bit poured. Hello. Oh yeah. How are you going? Yeah, fine. You? Hello, Lil. 
Have you seen Sabrina now? Nope, I haven't seen her yet. Got, yeah, be two seconds. Right, I think that's enough resin in there. pressure chamber now at 70 psi and uh, we'll come back when I'm ready to take it out okay it's time to have a look at this blank now I've not looked at it myself um, I've unscrewed these ready to remove off Okay, so far, take this tape off. Right, let's get it demolded. I think just demolded that. I want to show it you before I slice it up. Colours are beautiful in it. Appear to be the thickest. I don't think we've got the. I think we might just be getting 20 mils. Oh, we should get 20 mils actually. My glasses on. Yeah, we get 20 mils out of it. I think we must be sitting on a slope. We get more of that side. Anyway, I'll get it cut up, and we'll have a look at it then. Well, that's them cut up, and oh my god, they look spectacular. What an interesting look. I know one thing though, they're going to be a nightmare to turn. <laughs> There'll be a lot of chip out, I think, with these ones. Uh, oh, no, you just get on with it when you do them. But I think it'll be worth it because the look is just so good. Um, I think they will make beautiful pen blanks. There'll be a little air bubble in that one. Okay, so that's the end of this first video. Um, I'm really pleased with how these came out. Uh, yeah, well worth well worth messing around with I think um, the cones. I'll leave a couple of pictures up of them after. Um, so this is part one. We'll go on to part two now. Let's go and turn this and see what problems we come up against and how we're going to work out fixing them. Remember, this is unstabilised. I might I might stabilise some. And do a future video with stabilised ones. We'll go, we'll go away because I think I, I, I'm already doing some stabilising at the minute, so I could just carry on and continue doing for this. So I'm, I'll, I'll do these unstabilised. Part two, we'll be turning the pen out of these, and then in a future video, we'll uh, have a look at how well the stabilised ones do. Or I might do just a short update on top of this one whenever it happens. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, first part um, give me a thumbs up if you do thumbs down if you don't and uh, it will be in the next couple of days the second one will be out uh, please subscribe if you haven't already all the products that I use are below I always try to get the cheapest prices I can get so um, I tend to look around for, for what I'm putting in below uh, so that's it thanks for watching and uh, see you again